Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. We're going to do a corset draft because I have these corset packs. And that's just easier than spending the $25 for a Modern Horizon draft. Even though, truth be told, 12 top 8s? I literally just counted them. Oh, is the 12... Oh, the 12 is the top... Okay, I see. They're probably they're probably including, like, Nationals, Invitationals, Worlds as top 8 Pro Tours. Because Pro Tour, actual Pro Tours, it only looks like there's 8 of them. But if you go Players' Championship, Worlds, Worlds worlds and one invitational so there's five of those so either invitational or worlds doesn't count but I, if you're uh, either invitational or players championship doesn't count but if you're doing the three the three worlds and one of the other two and then yeah i could see it did definitely 12 um i don't know if we have any evidence that prize money will increase dramatically over the next few years I think it just depends on how lucrative it is for Wizards. Like, if it's not financially viable for Wizards, then... Because I think it's worth remembering that this is all kind of like an experiment right now. Oh, Temple of Ashmiphany. Ashmiphanod? How's your back doing? Fine. Okay. Oh, excuse me. It's doing pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. This pack seems like hot trash. What's the best pick in this pack, guys? Someone tell me the pick here. Because I don't know what it is, man. None of the temples Maybe. are worth anything. Oh, it's probably just pacifism, right? I think pacifism is probably better sure. than Drake. Alter Drake Scorcher. You guys don't like pacifism here? I'm going to take pacifism. Bam. Got him. This could be terrible. I actually don't know anything about this format. And I've drafted it a lot. Seven, eight times now. Seven, eight times. Why are you yelling? Why are you yelling? I wasn't yelling. I was singing. There's a difference. What's the difference? Keys. Alicia Keys? Yeah. Oh, murder? Pacifism it's murder. And murder. All right. Those are the two opposites of each other. Pacifism and murder. That's true. It's true. Maybe he needs to go further this way. Well, that could be better. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's like perfect. That's real good. Wow, that's great. Look at that. Now you're on the three. Now you're on the full screen. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Congratulations. Oh yeah, this mount was the best thing I've ever. This is the best fifty dollars I ever spent for this webcam mount. It's pretty cheap for a thing that works. I, I agree. It's pretty cheap for a thing that works. You don't want the vampire boy? Which one? This one? Yeah. This guy seems very good. Yeah, I would take that guy. Yeah, I'm taking that guy for sure. Br Blood for bones. What does that do? Uh, you sack a creature as an additional cost, and then you return a creature from the graveyard of the battlefield, then return a creature from the graveyard of your hand. Hmm. So you can actually trade like your worst creature in hand or your worst creature on the board for your two best creatures in the graveyard. I think it's actually probably pretty good. Should have taken altar. Okay, take it easy. Yeah, I'll take blood for bones. Set blood up for bones. Sanitarium skeleton. That seems good. That's an easy card to sack to the blood, the blood bones. Look at this. This is a one two, and this is a one two. Both of them cost one mana, which is better. I'm gonna go with the one on the right. You might be right. You might be right about the one on the right. You may be right. I may be crazy. 
But Michael, it just may be a lunatic you're looking for. Forest bear. <laughs> the name is Forest. Forest bear. You should show the chat that bear. That's the best bear. Guys, if you're ever curious what the best bear art is, it's this one. Hi. This is just party bear. He's like, hey, yo, what up? <laughs> Put your hands in the air. What's the pick here, Michael? Uh, boo, 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 boo. What does that black card do? It's This is actually probably better than I give it credit for. I poop on it a lot, but it's sorry, a creature that, that does deal damage this turn. Ooh. Seems okay. I think it's better than switching into a different color here, so. Put your hands in the bear? No, that does that's inappropriate. That's not what we do. Maybe you don't. Do you? No. Wow. Gauntlets of Light. In creature gets plus two plus oh and assigns their combat damage equal to toughness, and you can untap it. Probably just Epicure of Blood, right? <clears throat> this guy's been fine. Yeah, it seems alright. Devout Decree. Oh, yes, that's a good one. It's like a Celestial Purge, except we can only hit creatures and planeswalkers, then you get to scry, and it's a sorcery. It's almost main deckable, I would imagine. I can only imagine. What'd you say? I said I can only imagine. What? What can you imagine? That's just part of the song. Tell me saying. what you can imagine. Sorry, Bear Cub is the... Oh, Bear, Card, Bear Cub is the cutest. But this guy... Look at this guy. Come on. This guy's ridiculous. Alright. It might be the funniest magic card art of all time. Disenchantos? You remember, remember that song where it's like, are you ready? That was a corn song. Remember that song? No. Really? You remember corn? I do know corn is. They weren't very good. They weren't very good? No, I did not like corn. You're insane, dude. Corn killed it back in the day. <laughs> Tell me you like corn. I used to nerd. love corn, dude. Oh my god. I actually saw corn live and Incubus opened up for them. Well, I do like Incubus. Oh, yeah. Now you're on board. Golden Bear looks like a bear that is practicing his DJ scratching skills. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Look at this dude. Look at this. <laughs> Why is he standing like this? And then this guy's all like, hold on. Wait a minute, buddy. I love corn both on the cob and off the co cob and also processed into other food products as well. <laughs> Good to know, man. I like all the variations. I of like corn tortillas. Excuse me? Corn tortillas. Excuse me? Corn tortillas. Corn tortillas? Corn tortillas. How much is ley line of abundance? Is that anything? Probably not. Really? Because it's a combo piece and a bunch of different decks. Wow. And it's not even it's not even been reprinted, right? It is a four yeah, because you play it and then like your land of war elves on turn one deal make two mana. Whenever you tap a creature for mana, add an additional green. So you like play four of them in standard and then you like I'll add a oh, we're definitely taking Meteor Golem here. This is the Meteor Golem. Ooh, Wake Root Elemental. No, we're not green, so or maybe we are. Who cares about these cards? Is Wake Root Elemental? That's five green to activate. This is it's basically a just a five five. It's probably Yarox Fen Lurker here. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It's Not a Blood Blurgler. Blood Blurgler? Do you guys know you know what this does? You can't know what this does. That's okay. It's okay. No one can see it though. 
see it. No, I mean in the on the stream because you're in because look at you. No, look, you can see it. <laughs> yeah, they can see when Yarox Battlefield E their hand two and a black Yar. That's all you need. That is all you need, I guess. Ooh, agonizing siphon. I feel like again, this is a situation where I feel like the cards we're getting are very good. So I'm sure we'll lose <laughs> spectacularly. Oh, I like... Oh, we're not... I keep thinking we're green for some reason. I don't know why. I was like, oh... because you're stupid. That's... No, that actually probably has a lot to do with it. Yeah, I can see that. I would just take the dual land here. Why Why wouldn't... Why Why don't I? Yeah. I don't know, because we're just two colors. But you gain a life. <laughs> you know, he's right, guys. You gain a life. I'm just going to take this. What does that thing this do? guy seems bad, but it's always been good against me. Vigilance... Choose a color. Okay. Like it's it's gotten like a four four or five five against me, and I'm like, oh well, that's a lot. Oh look, it's manifold key. You know what this does? It's the upgrade for Voltaic. Yeah, you're right. Target creature can't be blocked this turn. That ain't bad. <clears throat> Soul Salvage could be good, especially when we have Meteor Golem and Medaid and Mike's dad. <laughs> I'll just take Steadfast Sentry. Look at this. You have a 3-2 Vigilance with whenever, whenever it dies, put a 1-1 one, one counter on a creature you control. And then you have a 3-2. That's it. Like, this is just head and shoulders better than Baron even. Oh, Corpse Knight. Oh, a Corpse Knight. Ooh. Whoa. 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 Okay. I'm just going to do my bit for me, I guess. All right. I see. Should we I, take this? I stole your bit. Get out of here. I got your bit money. Yeah. Should we take this, uh, this guy? This uh, this Goblin Ringleader, do you think? Oh, Mini think Trucker so. Magazine. Wow, that's a solid Clerks reference there. Did you say you don't think so? No, I don't think so. What, you hate goblins? Some kind of goblin hater? Yeah. I hate crotch goblins. Crotch goblins? Mm-hmm. You never heard of a crotch goblin? I've heard of them, Michael. Sell this dude. To... Yeah, or a Croblin. Actually, Blade Brand's not bad. It makes our sanitarium skeleton better. Sanitarium. <laughs> Mar Marauder's Axe? Yeah, Marauder's Axe is not terrible. It makes most of our creatures better threats. I'll take the Marauder's Axe. And we'll take this Blade Brand, I guess. Or we can take this Ley Line. Are you getting a phone call? No. Is it your mom? I didn't get a phone call. It's your mom, isn't it? It's not. I'm sure she'll call any minute, though. Any minute? You know, she's she's always calling me. She is always calling you. I think your mom's in love with you. It's awkward for everybody, Michael. <laughs> wow. I know. It's shocking for everyone, too. She will, ask, she will call to ask where the salami is. What is that emote? I don't know what any of these emotes are. Apparently, you're just making, just, just posting random emotes. I don't understand. Did you save it at least? Hmm? Did you save it? Save what? The salami? <laughs> oh my god! For your mommy? No, I didn't. That's for your mommy. Hmm. Well, I think there's enough to go around to all to all your different mommies. I guess. Wow. Wow, that was perfect. Oh God, that was amazing, man. That was that was impressive. I used to have croblins till I started putting dryer sheets in my underoos when getting dressed. Ooh, Calia. Probably not great in limited though. No, crotch goblin just means children. You put children in your underoos? That's not what I said, Frank. I was just describing what cr crotch goblins are. They childrens. I don't think that's true, man. Yeah, it is. You, you got your stupid little crotch goblin? No, I don't think so, man. Look up crotch goblin. Okay. <laughs> I will look up crotch goblin. 
Oh, a child. Yes. Huh. Because they they come from your crotch. They're crotch. Yeah, no, I get it. Little, I get it. I understand they're little, why. They're little people, so they're like a goblin. Noxious Grasp or a Vengeful War Chief? These are the questions. These are the questions that I'm going to ask you <laughs> on today's episode of 25 Questions. No, there's one. One question. Oh, God. It's a very short show. Oh, God. I took the creature that we're just going to play regardless, and hopefully that's good enough. Don't be a child in Splat. Well, we don't have, like... Cali is not that great and limited. Like we're not, we have no. I don't think we have a single demon, dragon, or angel in our deck. So, but in the future, yeah, there's not that many angels and demons in the set. So, they're well, all they're rares. Not, you're, but you're not going to get them in limited. Is the thing? Maybe you don't. Correct. This guy better than Epicure Blood? I don't actually think so. I think he just... I mean, he nugs you for a little bit. Equal number of creatures you control, so you probably take, like, three damage. But I think Inspiring Captain's probably better. Oh, another Corpse Knight. Wow. Wow! Yeah, I'll take another Corpse Knight. Sure. Actually, Corpse Knight, uh, each one loses a life. And this is what? Whenever you gain a life, they lose a life? All right. Well, those are not... Ooh, I like a God's Willing. <clears throat> oh, God's Willing it up. Oh, Blood Burglar. That's Mike's favorite card. He burgles while he yurgles. He burgles while he yurgles. Also, our sideboard's looking real good. Leyland of Sanctity? I just heard a zipper, and I thought Mike was, like, unzipping his pants. But apparently he has a zipper on the side of his pants. Yeah, I got a side pocket. Leyland of Sanctity's only worth a dollar now. Wow, this card used to be, like, 20 tickets. All right, we're just going to take the Eternal Isolation here. That card sucks. Hey, let's go on the sideboard. I think it's fine okay. on the sideboard against, like, the green decks and stuff. Oh, Temple of Silence? Oh, baby. Oh, now you take the dual land. What's well, a temple? It's a scry land, not a single gain of life land. You don't like gaining life, buddy? You can gain one whole life. That'll save you from death. It won't. Maybe I'll take this Bloodfell Caves in case this Kalia comes back. Why would we we still wouldn't play it? I mean, I guess it's a three it's four a three, flyer. Three, three three flyer. So, <sighs> he just wanted to show you his crotch goblin. Yikes! Yikes! I say yikes for yikes. me, dog. So yikes for me, dog. Yeah, look, she came back. Wow, she did actually come back. Did we ever get that blade brand? Nah, I'll just take the Kalia. That's just a card. That's just a card. I don't like you at all. I got is that a your, card. Is that your tater tot pocket? What? Is that side pocket for tater tots? No, man. That's for... Yeah, that's what I thought. That's for... Yes? Bananas. Bananas? Yeah, I mash them up, put them in there. Oh, he mashes the bananas up and puts them in his pocket. Yeah, then I get a nice scoop. And then you get a nice scoop of banana? <laughs> yeah. Huh. I'm oh, sorry, what's that noise you made? Huh. Okay. Oh, God, it's getting worse. Are you guys fans of this banana, <laughs> this banana scoop Biddy's doing here? ASMR. <laughs> oh, spare nuggets. That's good. Oh, spare nuggets. Keep on rolling. Michael B's got spare nuggets in his pockets. How many squad captains are too many? Seven. Well, that's good. I guess we'll play all four of the ones we have then. Beautiful. No, don't be weird. <laughs> what? I'm just tilting my head a little bit. Yeah, that's all you're doing. All right, so <laughs> let's make sure everything is good here. Blood, source, yeah, zip, 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 Dave. zip, 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 we can go after nine, right? Yeah, they're open till midnight. We can just wait for them. It's not a big deal. 
He always asks that, but I'm like, dude, we want to go with you. Like, we want you to come, so we can just wait for you to come. Totally fine. We'll go 9-8. Or 10-8. Seems totally fine. Oh, Michael Biscuits with the banana mash pockets, the glasses. <laughs> Did you just respond to that text with those glasses on? Uh, no, I, I had them up and then they fell. How the, they? The whole... Come on. Just... Not working right now. You're not believing hard enough. Oh. <laughs> so close. It would have been great if they fell when I did that. Come on, you can do this. <laughs> That's not my best performance. You know, it just... I think, you know what, you did fine. You did great. I feel like you, you really put your heart and soul into it, and that's the important part. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Was it got pro white? That's good. You got pro white. I, I don't. In the end, they went down all slow, just like in the sunglasses memes, and the cigarette comes. Oh, wow. This is. What is this? 2 4 for 3. Whenever you discard a card, it deals one damage to each opponent, and then you can discard a card to draw a card. Jesus. It's pretty good. I'm going to probably murder that dude. No offense to you, my. My Minotaur pirate friend, but you are a a decent boy. <sighs> Michael's Bro. Yes. You gotta move that cupcake, man. Looks so good. Oh yeah. Okay, so I actually made it bigger, and then Mike is like, oh yeah. <laughs> so by by move it, he really just means show me it show me it show larger me so cupcake. I can see that texture. <laughs> Those look good. It was a cupcake that Goblin Nick posted. Ooh, Blood Burgler. What are the odds they have a removal spell for Bloody Boy? 100%. Do you think it's 100? Like 99.99%. I wish he had haste. I wish everything had haste, except for my opponent's creatures. That'd be good. I agree. So like a perpetual concording crossroads, but only for you? Yes. Yes, that's is concordant crossroads all creatures. It's a world enchantment, right? Yeah, it's just creatures. Oh wow! Based. Look at this! Look at this thing. Well, I need life, so. And then we're gonna hope they block. That would be such gas. Buckwild, do you not like the term moist? Moist. Mo moist. Stop mo saying moist. <laughs> I'm trying to make a, a limerick, but I didn't do a it limerick. Right. Yeah, I was gonna be like moist. Moist mice. Look, they played two rares and they played three cards. Two of them are rares and one of them is an uncommon. This is my experience with M20 so far. Yeah, this is a fine. You having fun? I don't think so. I don't know, man. It's hard to say. This part, it's weird. I'll let him recover I want. You can't tell me. That's true. He can't tell you. What's the easiest way I can post the deck list to you? What's your website? Or um, how do you mean post it? Are you talking about getting me to play it? M20 does seem basically, like, I don't know, man. Like it's hard to even, it's hard to even talk about it because like. Oh, they have another one. That's cool. Are you not uh, pleased with it? Not great, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I guess you open one and then someone passes one to you. Oh look, they both have trample. Like you do. Come on, don't be in eighth land. That could be worse. I would really much rather gain life than lose life here. But, uh, you know, them going to 20 is, is much, much worse for us than us going to... Uh, six. Yep, six is the... Oh, boy. Magic's hard. And then you die. Yeah, if you just try to get it done with... <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, Lord. Like, the cards are so one-dimensional. That's my problem with basic core set drafts. The cards are all one-dimensional. And I love Cube. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry. I, I never want to seem like a broken record here, but this is why I love Cube, because it's so multifaceted. Like, if I draw one card, it can probably do four different things. So I have to not only choose which of those things I want it to do, but it gets me out of multiple different situations. Where in a situation, if in a game like this, if I draw, I don't know, a murder, a Marauder's Axe when I'm at three life, it's significantly worse than if I draw like a Cryptic Command or an Elspeth or, you know, a Demonic Tutor. Like there's so many ways you're rewarded for for finding out the, the correct things to do. Uh, I guess we'll bring in Eternal Isolation because it is great here. Um, they do have red creatures, so Devout Decree also seems fine. I don't know, Sanitarium Skeleton doesn't seem like it's really holding up his end of the bargain here. Uh, Sorcerer of the Fang. Alright, Flea Bay's in. Nice. Uh, we didn't get the Destroy Green Creature spell, no. We took, um, I don't know, something else over it. We took the card that I was like, oh, we're guaranteed to play this. Yep, let's try it again. Let's try to... Come on, guys. We can beat the mono rares dot deck, right? Nope. Doubt. Never can. And, like, again, I look at this deck that we have now, and it seems fine. It has a decent number of removal. It has some really great creatures. But it's hard to beat. And we also should have led with Swamp there in case we drew uh, Yarox Fencrawler, but hmm, doesn't matter. Yep, that guy's good. And, like, I don't even want to pacify this because then they can still activate the... Oh, I guess they can, actually. Because it has to... You can only do that when it's attacking. So, yeah, this is a pacifism target. That's fine. Whenever you discard a card, it deals one damage to each opponent, which isn't super relevant, I imagine. And you can only activate the discard draw card ability if it's attacking, so... That seems fine. I would love... There we go. I was like, I would love to have a creature that isn't 2 2 squad captain right now. Ideally, we'll draw the 1 1 vampire, the 1 2 vampire next turn, and then we can play squad captain as a 4 4. Uh, it gets plus 1 plus 1 for, you know, I mean. Could have waited in God's willing. Yep, that was bad. But see, then I make plays like this, and I'm just like, well, maybe I just deserve to lose these M20 matches anyway, because I'm just running my guys into their basically removal. But I don't know. I don't necessarily think it's better next turn. Like we just this we play this as a three three. It's just not impressive. So <clears throat> now we're just taking eight, and we've drawn one two three four six seven eight lands to three spells, four spells, which is, you know, it's whatever. And yep, that's that's the end. All right, cool. This was a fun round one. I had a good time. I uh, lost to a bunch of rares, and I lost to drawing twice as many lands as I did spells. I'm gonna go use the restroom real quick. It's each other creature? Yeah, so it would enter as a 3-3 three, three with the Epic Hero of Blood. That's what I said.
Oof, that did not parse correctly, my friend. That did not parse correctly. Mike's never coming back? Uh, well, he's not... He's not his dad, so... He'll probably be back. Eventually. I think one of the best parts about M20 Draft is that uh, the matches end really quickly, so, like... You don't have to you don't have to suffer through them for too long. Sure. <laughs> it's definitely a format where like this is again like basic draft formats like maybe not even War of the Spark, even like War of the Spark had a higher level of of interaction and um like decision making. Like the the card levels were there was a higher power level across commons. But, like, most of the time, like, you're just like, well, I can play this guy, but then I have no real control over what it does. It's just a 4-4 four, four on the board. I don't know. Maybe I'm not making any sense. I don't know. Maybe this is just, like... Benz is a super grindy... For right, exactly. But, I mean, like... Uh, that's why it's hard for me to even have these opinions, because I feel like if Ben has these great opinions on the format, then I'm like, maybe I'm just wrong? Like, that's how much I value Ben's opinion about a limited format, because... Ben is an absolute master. See, now this is a great hand, though. Like, now we have... like, But our opponent isn't also steamrolling us with rares this time, either, so... Have you streamed with both Mike and Rob there? No, because I don't... Uh, I mean, I have before in the past, but I don't prefer to have three people on the stream because it's just difficult to, to navigate. My opinion is that this is a basic set and not great. Yeah, and I agreed with you when you said that. Like, it does have a very basic feel to it. Like, there's a lot of flat uh, flat cards in the format, like, so to speak, if that makes sense. My name is Ben. Touche. Touche, no beats. Touche. Oh, boy. Yeah, so we're just going to play Epicure, which is going to trigger this guy, which is going to gain us a life. Nope, that didn't gain us life, because it's whenever you gain life, not whenever they lose life. So, Oh, boy. It feels like there are also a lot of specific hoser cards, like the ley lines that don't do much in limited. Right, exactly. There's a lot of rares that you're just like, well, this doesn't do anything. That combo kills on turn two and sideboards, Ranger, Captain of Use. Sideboards? Oh, well, they just killed our guy. That's great. That's great. That's just great. And we can't even get it back with uh, bone, Blood for Bones. It consistently wins me money. That's pretty good. If that's the case. Thank you. Oh. Cyborg Yui, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Ten months. It says nine months in a row. So, uh, way to miss a month, buddy. Unbelievable. Air Elemental. Well, that guy is good. I guess we're going to start bashing now. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we're not going to attack with anybody else. I don't really feel like wasting a, a God's Willing just to save a creature. Unsummon. Hmm. Well, that's a level of tempo I do not feel like giving up here. All lemon mental. 
Do you, oh, air lemon menthol is what you said. Uh, yeah, we'll pour a blue it. Bottom that. Well, see, look, now we don't have to draw that, that turd. Feels like you're always playing a turn ahead of the opponent so long as you don't get impatient and do stupid stuff. Not that I've ever done, did that. Wait, are you talking about, um... Oh, because of Leyline of Anticipation. I see what you're saying. I missed an earlier message. Interesting. How many burning dinosaurs or hidden herbalists will you haste total with Bushwhacker while flipping one mana Kithian? Probably a lot, I would imagine. Okay, sure. It's okay. Are you going to move this over here? No, you're going to pacify my guy. Oh, we can blood for bones now. Of course, we don't have a second creature in our graveyard, which is unfortunate. And now we have really no way to attack into their guys. I guess we can attack with Inspiring Captain. Seven, seven damage in the air. That's pretty good. So, if we play Blood Friends, we sack this guy and we just get one dude back, right? So we can actually, it just puts him back on the board, basically. Is that better than just playing Fen Lurker here? Like, again, we're just going to lose to these two flyers because we can't get past... I feel like there's just not enough removal in the format. Like, it's weird, but, like, I don't know. Maybe that's just wrong. Like, it's hard to be, it's hard for these grindy matches to happen, like, when I have no real way to deal with, and I took every piece of removal we saw. Like, I think I'm pretty sure we took every, the Agonizing Symphony came back, I think, in pack one, and then we took up whatever murders we saw. We also have, like, pacifisms of our own. I don't know. Two cards, we play this. I think I the value is good here, though. Whatever. I think this is fine for now. I don't love it, but... What are your thoughts on the bridge ban? I think it's totally fine. I think bridge is not a fair magic card. Like, it's not meant to be a fair magic card. Like, it's, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's the most non-magic card magic card that's ever existed, I think. Like, you're never meant to cast it. It has a, a weird casting cost. It's an enchantment. Like, it's just not a... It's not a card that's designed for fair games of magic. Yep, so we take... We go to nine here. Warchief gets a little bigger. So they have Ancestral Blade and Pacifism that we've seen. So I can actually see bringing in the... Uh, the Disenchant. Plus, it looks really bad if you're banning cards from a brand new set that's only two weeks old. Like, so do you, you don't want to ban Hogak. You don't want to ban Altar of Dementia. <clears throat> it just looks bad. Because you're like, well, we clearly designed this set. Uh, you know, we made some mistakes in set design if we uh, have to ban these cards so soon. Oh, wow. Another, another rare. All right. Oh, boy. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exactly enough power on board in flyers. And even if we alpha here, yep. So yeah, this is this format's unreal to me. I have no idea what's going on in this format. Black or red? Nope. Disenchant seems decent. Get rid of sanitarium skeleton. Eternal Isolation seems good, even if we're just getting rid of uh, Air Elemental. I mean, Cutthroat might be better than Squad Captain, but, like, presumably we're going to have more than... If you have even two creatures out, I think Squad Captain's fine.
Yeah, I know. It's because Mike. It's because Mike went to the bathroom like an hour ago, and uh, didn't fix this. So it's whatever. You guys should still be able to make out what's going on. I'm struggling. Well, you'll be all right. I believe in you. I'm half left. Wow. Badger with the dad jokes. <sighs> Oh man, I love me some Gary V. There is no fucking figuring it out. There is no out. It doesn't end. The fuck are you talking about? Parents, if you're listening right now, cause you know that to be true, stop being a dick. Cause you know that you're 57 and you don't have anything figured out, the fuck are you pressuring your 19 year old to figure it out? What, getting a job in an accounting firm when you're 23, you figured it the fuck out? Getting married at 29, you figured it out? What the fuck are we talking about here? <laughs> There is no figuring it out. It's an endless, infinite loop of figuring. And so if you're a 57 year old and forcing your 22 year old to figure it out because you want to look good to your friends that your child figured it out, not you want your kid to Ah, the secret. Ah. The ego gets activated again because you can shit on those other parents whose kid. You should know better. You love your child, you should tell them to never figure it the fuck out. Just live. Man, Gary Vee. All right, all right. These matches. Woo, this, oh man, we're really approaching. I think we're closely, we're quickly approaching the, uh, what's known as the, the last corset draft I will do. Maybe I just stick to Modern Horizons. Yep. Land? Okay, we're doing it. This persona is living the dream. Echoey Radio Man. That's Gary Vaynerchuk. If you guys don't know Gary Vaynerchuk, he's definitely uh, pretty awesome. He's got a he, he does a lot of inspirational stuff where it's like uh, it's great business advice. He's like a social media marketing entrepreneur. Talking about me? Yeah. No, because you you know if you were a social media marketing entrepreneur, you probably know well mm -hmm. enough to put the curtain back. Uh, in such a way that it wouldn't uh, affect the stream. But you don't know that, so. <laughs> this attack, and we can trade with this guy. I don't think they have a lock here. I'd probably just take one, right? Wow. How's your, what'd you do? Did you, did you go to the bathroom? I did. Did you blow out the bowl? <laughs> I guess so. Did you paint that bitch? <laughs> no. I bet you did. <laughs> I mean, he was just gone for a while, so I just assumed that, like... I just assumed he, uh, he added a new cone of paint, you know? Wow. Look, buddy, there's no shame in it. There's no shame in your... Your toilet bowl game. <laughs> what problem is Michael? Disgusting pig. This guy got vigilance too? Has the bathroom recovered from the 48 nugs? I think so. That was yesterday. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it's recovered. That's why it's people are fine. asking. <laughs> God. Maybe if you weren't such a pig, such a disgusting pig, in the words of our Lord and Savior Gordon Ramp. Jesus. Oh boy. Jesus won't save you. Oh yeah, you ain't kidding me. 
Gotta be kidding me. No, no one's kidding you. So there's block pump, block, block and pump and block and pump. Like these creatures we have are so unimpressive, but like they're literally the best you can do. What if they triple block? Let me trade with this guy. Whatever. It's fine with me. That's Mike B on the toilet. That's Mike B in the spot. Light. Painting the toilet bowl. Wow. Oh, yes. Excellent. You got it. Yeah, that's fine. Do 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 do. Painting the porcelain. Wow, it's a nice REM you got there. Trying to make poo poo, and he will know when he can flush it. <laughs> Oh no, I think I it's think I totally too forgot to... big. I... <laughs> oh, I didn't eat enough vegetables. <laughs> oh God, I totally forgot to activate this. Oh no, I shat too much. <laughs> oh wow, that's that's amazing. Oh, good, you have... Oh, you're just going to draw a card. I thought you had a thing. Turns out you just don't have a thing at all. You ever get that bidet? I actually didn't get... I didn't get the bidet. Where are you going to get one? That's me on the come out. Oh, my God. This is this is fantastic. Um, there was a, There was a bunch of bidet streams going on for a while back. Where people would like one bidet buck and they would donate a bunch of bucks for the bidet. Wow. So that I can go on the internet and buy a bidet and install that. Get a little uh I hear it's uh, it's good. Well, it's it's just another level of cleanliness, you know. I don't see like this is a game where we're we're winning right now, we're ahead. But like it doesn't even feel like it. I just feel like I have a 1-3 and a 2-4. And our opponent's just kind of stuck on mana. And it's like... Unsummon your own guy? Yeah, alright. Who cares? Just to prevent two... Oh, I guess you just replay him at the end of the turn. That was a weird way to prevent two damage. Like, you basically just played Unsummon to prevent two. That's weird. Eek out some... <laughs> This is where we're losing the viewers. This is where our people unsubscribe left and right. They're like, I can't. This guy, all this guy, this this guy's drafting, and complaining about Corset 2020, and just singing songs about doo doo. It's unbelievable. <laughs> right. Right. Good talk. Sure. Now it all makes sense. Another rare. <laughs> Wish I had. I don't think I even have rares in my deck. Just to be clear. Oh, Tonos, with the ten gifted Thank subs. You. Thank you so much, dude. You are unbelievable. My God, what is this? This has been a gifted sub stream for sure. Thank He's you. gonna run out of people to gift subs to. There's always pe there's always more people, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you is right. That's for the 10 viewers I drove away. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Like, I can't. I can't deal with this guy. There's a lot of shit talk on this stream. See what I did there? Thank you. Yeah. Shit talk? Like, it's because it's like... Yeah, I get it. It's I got like, you. Yeah, okay. Okay, man. Um, Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. Hope they don't have another own summon. Thank you. Nope, just a little spectral sailor. Just a spectral sailor. Remember the time I was like, man, it feels like we're ahead here, but it doesn't feel like we're ahead, because we're not. And uh then they then they played a rare against us and it totally changed the entire game, so <sighs> and if Ben S is right, if this is a format about grindy things, then cards like Planar Cleansing and Spectral Sailor, which lets you draw cards every single turn, are really head and shoulders above anything else you can get. MTG Pyro, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. 16 months. So close to two years. Oh, look. Oh, look. Well, unfortunately, it's not a germ, so you'd still get to keep the 1-1. One, one. Oh, another land. Okay. <laughs> Welp. Jesus. Yep. Maybe they'll deck themselves. <laughs> yeah. 16 more cards. Look, they have 16 cards. We have 23, which means they've drawn seven more cards than us in this game. Uh, two from Wing Words, two from Wing Words. I believe maybe one off that. Is that right? Maybe murder that thing. <laughs> maybe murder that thing? Uh, I want to block it first. What, this guy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely murderable. Maybe murder that guy. <laughs> Spirit Pirate. Oh, good. They had another unsummon. Thank goodness for that. I guess we'll say white because we have two white cards in our hand. Even though black is a heavily more heavily represented color in our deck. I wish it also got protection from the color you chose. That would be significantly better, right? No, that would be that would there would be a weird tension there because like you'd have to both have your opponent. Well, maybe not because then you're getting to choose. Like if you if your opponent has a bunch of red cards but you're a blue green deck, right? Then you either get to choose whether you want it to have protection from your opponent's things or whether you want it when you want to buff it with your own things, right? So like the two the two abilities wouldn't be necessarily um, what's the word I'm looking for symmetrical right but you would it would give you two different two different basically two different uses for the card i mean i have four cards in hand so i don't feel like this is going to resolve they have four cards and they can just draw a fifth card here if they, you know if they don't if they don't like any of the four options in their hand Shut up, man. Okay. Oh, look, another rare. Another rare. <laughs> Rares for days. And then Eternal Isolation is just sitting here with literally no targets. I brought it in because it's very hard for us to deal with Air Elemental, and that's a card where, like, I really want to be able to deal with it. But now we have a 2-2. Two -two, nine lands. We have more lands than they do, and uh, they have drawn six more cards than we have. And uh, we have Eternal Isolation, so it's not, it's not looking great. Let's put it that way. Thankfully, this guy has Vigilance. Thank goodness. I would hate to not have Vigilance here. Wait, all their guys fly, you say? Oh, yep, draw another card. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter after all. Look at this spoopy, spoopy scary ghost. Spooky, scary, scary ghost. They send shivers down your spine. I mean, if I can engineer a situation where my opponent, my opponent wastes their murder, I get to unsummon my own guy in response, and then I get to play Planar Cleansing so that I have no creatures on board. I mean, I'd probably be winning this game as well. Oh yeah, God's willing. Faux show. 
I'm going to attack. They're going to block. And they're probably not going to block. They're just going to take two. Oh, well. All right. Well, God's willing. They'll kill it in response or bounce it or... Yep, here we go. Yep, exile my dude. And we're done. Fantastic. Onboard trick even. I didn't even like... It's hard to play around this. Like, what do you do? Just not play anything? Then I guess we're dead. Right? Then we take one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I, presumably they'll pump this guy, so seven. And then we go to four. And then, you know. We have not won a game. And realistically... Double Corpse Knight, Yaros Fenlurker, Blood Burglar, Pacifism, God's Willing, Knight of the Ebon Legion, Murder, Steadfast Sentry seems fine, uh, Blood for Bones, Agonizing Symphony. I think this deck looks fine. Meteor Golem, like, I, I don't know. I don't know what a better, I, I mean, like, I, 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 know, I obviously know what a better deck looks like, but I don't know what a more, like, I feel like this deck is average at the very least and should probably win a game. <laughs> like, but so That's far where you'd be wrong, right? Marco. Like so far, we lost to like four rares in in first match, and then mono flyers in the second match. So it's like, I, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know about this format. I'm really trying to come at it like unbiased and be like, okay, I'm I'm trying to give it a fair shake, but I'm I'm also trying to look at it like maybe it's something I'm doing wrong. Maybe it's maybe my deck is just terrible. Maybe these I'm I'm drafting bad cards that are not like, man, I'm I'm just overlooking the good stuff. But I really don't know. <sighs> either way it's been exhausting it's just the every time i'm like oh i also think earlier when i was considering drafting modern horizons i was looking at the league not the phantom league which would have been uh significantly more how many of these do i have how many modern horizons tokens do i have that you can never use on do i have none that's all right well that's weird playing with your little thing yeah okay you like core 20 but it don't like you that's what it feels like i want to like it but because it dislikes me so heavily it makes it a little harder you never play the string thing see this looks like a good hand but you know they're probably just gonna go like turn one sarah ascendant turn two high pre that's i mean that's that's close. At least he can't attack you with the next turn. That was my experience with M20. It's been a very difficult set for me. I think that's because of the lack of symmetry. Like, I, I think it is very... I don't know. For some reason, it's just not meshing with me. Like, I, maybe it's just me. But I, I definitely don't echo Ben's sentiment about... <laughs> Jesus. If I could have the same uh, answers that my opponents have to their rares that they do mine... Synergy, Yes. I feel like they're, the archetypes don't match up very well. I feel like like there's the fly the blue at flyers deck, and if as long as they play one three three, it shuts down a lot of things. Yep, this guy shuts down a lot. Like there's just so much like. The cards are just not powerful. I don't know, man. I love what M twenty has done for for standard. I love the cards that it's introduced. I'm a big fan of the set in general. I have not necessarily enjoyed the limited experience thus far though yeah okay well do I just run this guy out there as a 3-3 probably against the Mardu deck that most assuredly has a removal for this guy like and then agonizing Sy siphon is weird because against the against the blue white flyers deck it's usually fine but then against any sort of green based deck their guys are like all three fives and five fours and you're just like well I can't deal with any of these things And I really don't want to waste this on these guys, but I also want to start getting ahead. So maybe we won't. We won't use it now. We'll just wait it out. <sighs> that bear. <laughs> amazing. Just amazing. And see, like, this is a situation where we're like, well, we're doing well right now, but mostly because our opponent doesn't seem to have anything at all, so. Yeah, our opponent's got, like, nothing. So now we'll attack with this guy. And they can double block, but they did not. 
They did not. Also, like, I mean, we could have even waited to play Feral Abomination until we had Gods Willing up. Wow. See, again, I have an Agonizing Siphon here. And they have this fat idiot. So now we get to play, like, one thing. So we're going to attack first and see what we want to do. Do, 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 do. Michael B is Michael B. Oh. So we're going to Agonizing Siphon to kill this because it's very, very strong. Which means we could God's Willing and save this, or we can just let it die and save the God's Willing. I think I'm, I think I'm God's Willing and saving here. Because it lets us put this land that we're inevitably going to draw on the bottom. And there it is. Don't ask me. Don't ask me why. I think it's good for new players to unlimited because there's not a lot of complication. I may make those new players never want to play again, but that's a different problem. Yes. I would just be. I would be very interested in hearing different opinions um, from other pros on on M20, because the only one I've seen, the most vocal one I've seen, is Ben Stark's opinion, and he's in. He's in support of the set. And you know. As someone who's like a, an amazing limited player, it's very interesting to me. <laughs> Jesus. If they hit, oh my god, it'd be so comical if they hit here. But again, we're playing against a white deck, and we still have to deal with seven power and flyers on the board. Yeah, this is... How did you feel about Dom? I thought Dominaria was fantastic. Dominaria is one of the better draft formats in the past five years, I would even say. Um, and, and the reason is because there's a lot of play. Um, there are things like sagas that that have a lot of different modes on them, a lot of different a lot of different triggers, right? So you're getting multiple abilities on one card. You have both flashback and was flashback in the set? Was there flashback in Dominaria? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe not. A kicker, though. But kicker is, like, one of the best mechanics ever because it gives you options. You're like, do I play this on turn two or do I save it to turn six? Like, there were a lot of different things you could do. You got first strike? No. Okay. So it rewards, like, you have better, better things to do, right? You're like, okay, cool. I uh, I have a lot more decisions to make. You know, I have a lot more options in my in my play. I don't have if I have a three drop, I have to play it on turn three. If I have a five drop, I got to play it on turn five. Like, there's a lot. Kicker's a great ability because it makes it it makes sure your cards scale properly. Like, if you draw a two drop on turn ten, it's a lot worse than if you draw, uh, you know, a ten drop. But if you have a two drop that has a, a kicker of like six, you know, you know. Eh, so many kickers, you know. Hexproof. Hexproof wasn't from Dominaria. What are you talking about? All the my... In fairness, M20 has more play than every other core segment, but I don't think that's true. I think M19 was very good, and I also think Magic Origins were both very, very good. Oh, hexproof like hexproof from. Gotcha. What up, Sammy boy? Okay, so I really don't want to throw meteor golem out there because I feel like I've faced planar cleansing way more times than I should have. Cycling also very good because you're like, oh, I drew my two drop on turn seven. Let me make it a better card. Okay. That dragon is rapacious. Oh, they also have... This is funny, because they have Dragon Mage and Rapacious Dragon, so they actually have hits with Kalia. Yeah, we're just going to kill the Kalia here. Kill the Kalia. And, wow, we won a game. Implacivable. The funny thing is, I hated Amonkhet Drafts. I think Amonkhet Drafts were absolutely miserable. Um. Oh, really? Oh, no. Oh, no. We submitted too quickly, and I guess they did, too. No, they didn't. Okay. I'm definitely going to submit this. 
and then we'll take out like skeleton I guess if we have to actually I like axe better I didn't nah. see again this is fine because they have dragon mage but like it's not great like it hits like one creature but the problem is the one creature it hits is very very good I feel like we drafted Diamond Cap for a while and we had a good time with it. Like when they first I think maybe it? maybe it was the addition of Hour of Devastation that just made it too aggressive. Because every every draft, every deck you played against was a red white aggressive deck and it was just so ridiculous. Yeah, when we first started it, no one knew that yet, so it was like just people playing whatever they could and it was fun. That it was fun. I had a good time. Oh, so fun. I was fun. I was fun, fun to say. Are you okay? You kind of, I think, what? You, I think you blacked out after a little bit there. Maybe. Also, if you guys were gifted a sub today by Badger, by Josh, by Tanos, uh, definitely check out the subscriber Discord channel. It is, uh, it's a pretty sweet one, and it's a great way to connect with the other, uh, the other subscribers in the community. Yeah, you can sell me magic cards on there. Yeah, Mike B's buying a bunch of commander stuff. If you guys have uh, commander cards to sell, Michael Michael B, Michael Biscuit, Michael Biscuit. All the Michaels in the Michael B. What does this song even mean? What does this song mean to you, Michael? What do you mean to a song, <laughs> God, idiot? It's brilliant, brilliant, Michael. Do they have shock? Are they just gonna shock this guy when I? Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna buy a banned card. Yeah, yeah. Let me buy your paradox engine. Got him. I'll give it give it to you. How about a nickel? That good? I'm gonna risk it. Oh god, it's gonna feel so. Oh wow, they didn't have it. Oh, this guy's gonna get. He's gonna get counter on him. Oh, oh we're doing it. Oh, we did it. One straw penny. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter because they aerial assaulted him anyway. I'm gonna marry that aerial salt. Aerial salt in many ways. I'm gonna say black. Black is our, our more heavily represented color here, so. Triple Avacyn was sickly entertaining? False. Triple Avacyn was a nightmare. Avacyn was, oh god, that was terrible. It's I literally, it's gotta be the worst draft format of all time. Of all time. Excluding maybe Homelands? Nope. Including Homelands. Have you played Homelands? Have you? I saw I saw someone draft it once. It was pretty bad. It looks it looks also terrible. Like none of the cards do anything. Yeah, I don't think Homelands was a draft format because wasn't that I think the card packs were like eight packs or eight cards per pack or something. It feels like Homelands wasn't even draftable. Maybe that's true. I don't know. All I know is that card is full. That set is full of crappers. You're full of crappers. Sometimes, but not anymore. That's a poop reference. Because he went he went nuclear earlier. Nuclear. You say nuclear like nuclear? No, but it uh, you know, but it did sound like that. You know. Shut up, Michael. I think they're missing black mana here, but I also uh as someone who is is uh, I feel like prone to mana screw or flood an above average amount of time, I don't really uh my sympathies for people who get mana screwed or mana flooded are not they're not high. Yeah, figured you'd figured you'd have the shock there with that. Block. I have a shock. Bzzz, bzzz. Are you doing the shocker? No, I I only did two fingers. No, you didn't. No, you did not, dude. Someone someone clipped that for us and proved <laughs> that Michael did did the shocker when he said I have a shock. <laughs> someone please clip that and let us know because no, no, I didn't. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're shocking about? Is that what you said? I don't know what you're talking about. That's not what you said though. Yeah, you just block here and gain a life. Oh, God. Oh, that's cool. We got the Devout Decree. Look at this. Look, look, our whole plan is coming together. Where's the goober? What does that even mean? Are you afraid? Is that an Into the Spider Verse reference? Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> Oh Lord! Check Artosis' stream right now. That's I mean that's asking a lot. I have to like go to Twitch. dot com slash Artosis. What's he doing? I'll do it because I like Artosis. All 
All right. Wow, this is a lot. I was, I'm really surprised that. Wait, what is this? Is this StarCraft with like... What is this? What is a skin? What is this? This is like Cutie Pie version. What is this? It's like StarCraft, but it's got like a sweet skin on it. Also, I, I've never actually watched Artosis' stream, but watching Artosis play, play StarCraft seems like it'd be oddly satisfying. Same with, same with Sean. They remade StarCraft with Carbot anime? I, a, I don't know what Carbot is. And who remade it? Did, did Blizzard? Is that an official Blizzard? Uh, are we going to win this game? Are we really going to go 1-2 again and, like, crush this last round? Oh, yeah, man, we're crushing it all right. I mean, we crushed the last round. Do you disagree? I guess we're winning. I guess. You, d you don't think we're winning? We're there at five, and we have four creatures. No, we are winning. I'm just... Why'd you say I guess we're winning, then? I don't know, man. Shut up. Shut your stupid mouth. <sighs> don't like it. Look, all three of my creatures have vigilance right now. Okay, that's cool. It is cool. They've got the vig. No one clipped Mike doing the shocker, and that really makes me sad. It's because Courtney's not here. There we go. I don't know what your shot. There we go. Someone did. Affinity, always, always the hero that we need. You ready? Look, look at that pinky, man. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> it even shook when you... You're like, I just did two. No, you didn't. Oh, they had an uncaged fury. Fascinating. Affinity, thank you so much, buddy. You are a clipping champion. God, I hate being called out. But you wouldn't have been called out if you didn't if you didn't try to change your story, man. Story, man, man. See, I didn't think I did it. I didn't really mean to. It just kind of happened. Wow, you have no control over your body whatsoever. Mm hmm. And a fantastical one-two again. This is our most common record, I think, on the uh, and you're killing on it. the M20 drafts. We got that one trophy. I don't even want to be the guy with 20 trophies. I'll be honest with you. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will check you out next time. You can. Uh, I'm not. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. But if you're watching on YouTube, you can slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Patreon on Twitch. Head over to Twitch. Use that Twitch Prime sub. Use a regular sub. It's a great way to support the channel. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.